If you are doing job servicing or planning to start this business, then this video will be very important because I will take you behind the full job servicing process from client's inquiry all the way to the fulfillment process. The processes that I will be walking through today includes sales process, sales conversion, freelancer sourcing and order fulfillment. Welcome back to my channel. My name is May and on this channel, I aim to help online entrepreneurs grow their online business and create a massive online income. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. The very first step of the whole process will be receiving inquiry. I received an inquiry to do a 2D animated marketing video on my WhatsApp. According to him, he got to know my video services from my YouTube channel and he contacted me through my website. The next thing you need to do is to get more information about the video, like what's the purpose of the video, company's logo, video's length, the deadline, storyline, or the storyboarding. Please note that basic video editing does not include any storyboarding and other related questions. This client needs the video in one month's time, so I need to make sure the freelancer is able to complete the job way before that so that we have ample time for any revision. The next step is I need to determine the price. I did a rough research how much is the market price and how much is the freelancer charging in general. Based on the client's requirements, I found that most freelancers are charging between $120 to $180 for a 90 seconds to 2 minutes video. So based on $180, I will mark up at least double just in case there are hidden costs or client asking for discount. The fourth step of the process will be closing the deal. I quoted him $397. True enough, he asked for a discount. This is up to you but I end up giving him a $50 off and he took the offer. I highlighted to him that I need full payment to start work. He agrees. I went ahead and created an invoice and sent to him. The fifth step will be sourcing for freelancer. I sent my requirements to five freelancers that I've researched. Click contact and request for a custom code. State the requirements. Set your delivery time and your budget. I set mine at $100 to be completed in seven days. All five of them responded. Some were slower, some were really prompt in their replies. Two of them unable to do it around my budget and charge way more expensive which was at $250 so I would strike them out. Based on the sample jobs that they sent me and their speed in replying. Is your home running out of space? Box 8 brings you cloud storage for your stuff. Just follow these simple steps and you'll be decluttered in no time. Log in to box8.com and order our ultra tough storage boxes. I decided to go with this one. He seems to be able to answer all my questions and gave good suggestions. He then went ahead and created a custom offer for me to make payment. The sixth step in this job servicing process will be buying the Fiverr gig. After receiving full payment from the client, I then paid the Fiverr freelancer via the custom offer created by the freelancer. Next, your freelancer will need to start work. After finalizing details of the video, the freelancer started work. The order was delivered on the 8th day instead of the 7th day as promised, but it was alright for me because I have ample time to play around with. That's why it is very important to factor in the delays by freelancer and buffer the delivery time accordingly. This is one of the most crucial aspect of being a job servicer. Next will be the order fulfillment. I went through the completed video and make sure it is according to the requirements. Then I forward the same video link to my client. Next will be the revision. The client was satisfied with the video but requests minor changes. The last step will be the completion step. 
After several revisions, the client was happy with the final revision. So I prompt for a review and that's the end of the whole job servicing process. This job servicing process may differ from service to service, but basically this is the general outline. I hope this full job servicing walkthrough is helpful to you. Do check out more job servicing tutorials over here and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!